And so now what I would like to do is introduce you to the parents of uh, this little girl over here, Mia, who is a survivor of uh, preeclampsia along with her mom. Um, her dad, Matteo, in fact, is, um, on our, is part of our research team. Uh, Matteo uh, joined our team, uh, in fact, uh, a little while, um, uh, sh shortly after he joined our team, his wife was diagnosed with uh, preeclampsia. And so now Sylvia and Matteo are going to tell you their experience with preeclampsia. Hello, I'm uh, the proud man of Mia, the girl in the picture. She's now three years old, and uh, she was born prematurely at 29 weeks at uh, UCSD. And uh, um, she's doing very well now. She's still followed by specialists because premature babies uh, are at risk for uh, developmental delays and physical delays. She has some delays, but we're hoping she will catch up um, mild delays with speech. Um, I'm here to tell you my story um, as a patient of preeclampsia and as a mom of a premature baby. It's uh, really hard. My pregnancy, I was thinking, was going well. Um, I knew that the Mia uh, was a little bit smaller than average, uh, but what, that was pretty much it. Um, but at a doctor's appointment, um, it was found out that I had a high blood pressure and proteinuria and I was rushed uh, to the hospital and the baby was delivered 48 hours um, later because uh, um, they, there's really nothing to do other than delivering the baby. Uh, they only waited 48 hours in order for the steroids to have an effect and hopefully uh, help with the lung development. So I cannot tell you how hard it is um, to be in that situation and you know see um, the baby's being so small. Mia weighed um, two pounds and eight ounces, and it turned out that she was actually growth restricted, but we didn't know. Uh, she spent the first two and a half months uh, in the neonatal intensive care unit. Um, I knew about all the risks, um, and it was really hard, but in the end, we were lucky. Uh, she had some issues with the lungs. Um, she was diagnosed with chronic lung disease. That means that she needed oxygen for a longer period of time compared to um, other premature babies. But she was able to come home without the oxygen support. And um, she doesn't have any issues uh, anymore with the lungs. Um, so I'm uh, very grateful for your support to preeclampsia research. Uh, grateful to CIRM. Um, I think this disease is not um, very well studied, and that's maybe the reason why so little is known about it, the causes and how to diagnose it early and treat it. And so uh, I'm really hoping that with uh, more research and finding the right models to do drug screening and you know, find a way um, to help moms who are in, in that situation. Um, I'm, you know, as I say, thank you very much for your time and for your support. And, you know, I really hope that there can be progress in this disease, a better understanding and um, possibly a cure. And this is my husband, who's also a um, scientist, so that was a very, you know, a coincidence. We were really not expecting that. Yeah, like Mana and my wife just said, uh, my name is Matteo and, and I'm Mia's father. And I'm also like a scientist working on, on placenta-related diseases, so you know how life has its own turns and twists. And so basically, I consider myself extremely lucky. So for two reasons. Uh, the reason number one is that you know, like Mia's story ended up really well, so that is great. And the second reason is because I'm I'm part of a team that can make a difference. So I'm part of a team that can really make things happen. And, but you know, to make these things happen, obviously, uh, uh, we need your support. And, uh, you know, we have already received some general support and help from you guys. And so, you know, I'm just here to, again, like, uh, like uh, uh, my wife just said, to say, like, thank you for your past and hopefully for your future uh, support. Thank you very much for your time. <coughs> Thank you.
Thank you very much for the presentation, and thank you for coming to tell us your story. We appreciate that very much. Uh, are there any questions from members of the board? Dr. Lubin. I'm a pediatrician, and I thought that was a great presentation. And thank you very much for telling us and showing beautiful pictures of your child. But I was looking up on NIH about preterm labor and birth, and I just wanted the board to appreciate that preterm birth is the most common cause of infant death and is the leading cause of long-term disability related to the nervous system in children. So the impact of the understanding this and dealing with this has enormous, has enormous benefit to society worldwide. And if you look outside of the United States, it's even a bigger issue than it is here in California. So thank you for that work, and thank you very much for coming and talking to us. Thank you, Dr. Lubin. Any other comments? Okay, well, thanks very much again. We appreciated that most interesting presentation. Thank you. Thank you.